I don't know if I said, yeah, hello. I'm not sure if you guys got that because I don't know if the live actually started, but hello everybody. So I'm going to be making my son David's um, cake for his 24th birthday, which is tomorrow. I decided to make a cookie cake because like I said in the description, I am so tired of buying cakes in the grocery store <laughs> and some of those cakes are not cheap. So my kids all love my chocolate chip recipe. I'm going to be making a double stuffed cookie cake. So what I'm going to do is I actually bought these pans at Walmart. Look at this huge, it's a pizza pan, but look how thin it is. Good morning, everybody. Look how thin these are. And I got them for only $9.97 at Walmart and I thought that is perfect. And plus, me and my husband do a kids program at church. We've been doing it for 28 years. And we always are having pizza parties for the kids. Like if they bring so many friends to church, then we have a pizza party. And I know I said I was gonna come on at two, but I thought, you know what? It's quiet, everybody's gone. I might as well just make his cake now because he's gone to working and I wanna kind of surprise him. So hopefully he doesn't walk in when I'm making it. So I'm gonna do a double stuffed cookie. I doubled my chocolate chip recipe. I have everything going like all ready to go. I even cleaned out back so I didn't have to keep like turning around and getting ingredients. And so I have everything ready to go. So I'm gonna make the cookies, let them cool, but while they're cooling, we're gonna make my buttercream icing. I'm gonna make some of it blue because I wanna kind of put colors on top of the, um, the cookie, cookie cake. And I got my coffee, I had a banana today, and I had my Celtic salt with my water. And this is day, I think this is day, this might be one week. So I've been exercising for one week and eating right for one week. And I don't know if I had told you guys, but I think I had mentioned it in my Facebook Live because yesterday I went on live on Facebook and we made my cookies and was it a disaster? I used the Danish butter that I was so proud of. Well, because it has so much fat content, my cookies went like whoosh. Like I have some over there, they're almost gone though, like this big. And I, I just couldn't take it, I couldn't take it. And so I said, mm, I'm gonna make them again. So I made them again with my regular Meyer butter, Walmart butter, and they looked beautiful. So I, I had to, I had to do it. I couldn't get off that lie without making my cookies right. And um, so anyway, I did that yesterday, but um, I am actually doing a 30 day vlog on my weight loss journey, how it's going with my exercising, what I'm eating, how I feel. And so I haven't worked out in two days because me and my husband had a couple date nights. We had to go um, birthday shopping yesterday and get like all David's, his favorite stuff for, um, for breakfast and for his dinner we're gonna make him and then we had to get like the decorations and I bought his stuff online like two weeks ago because I'm doing a whole cowboy theme and it is not here so please pray that his stuff comes today because <laughs> his birthday is tomorrow. I mean I bought it a while ago and I, to I was told a while ago that it's, it's, we got your order, getting it ready, it's been shipped. So please, 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 please. Yeah, I mean it, it's just, I guess, so if I use that Danish butter, because of the high fat content, I either have to re have to reduce the butter, add more shortening, and then add a little bit more flour to compensate for all the fat. So my kids said that they were good. My husband actually said he didn't like them. He felt like it was um, a little grainy, like they, everything didn't mix properly. So hello, everybody, how are you? How are you, how are you? Hello, Amy, okay, Amy. Did you change your name? Like, are you usually talk to me, talk like a hick? <laughs> what is it? If I'm so wrong, tell me. But did you change to like, <laughs> so I know who you are? Or do I have two Amy's now that I love? <laughs> I don't know. Oh my, I know, go Lions! So, um, it's always been Amy. Okay, then I have two Amy's on here because I have another Amy that is one of my moderators, but her... Unless I'm getting her confused with, I have two girls on here that their names aren't there and I get them confused all the time. And they're my moderators. I'm such a horrible host and a friend. So anyway, um, I have everything organized. Um, I was just gonna tell you guys something. <laughs> hey, Amy. <laughs> um, so I have everything ready to go. I am going to, um, just remind me. Somebody remind me. Um, aw, thank you so much. Yes, so remind me, I'm gonna start cooking. Remind me, I'm gonna tell you about our birthday traditions and then remind me that, um, oh, I bet you I have tons of Amy's, hey? <laughs> I love Amy's. Um, and remind me to tell you about, hello, there's, so there's one of them, Miss Alma Trumbull. 
My other one is Talk Like a Hick. And I get you guys' names confused every time. Like every time. Um, yeah, don't forget to hit that like button because that pushes the, the video to other people. So um, just remind me to tell you about our, our birthday tradition. And then remind me to, ooh, somebody's already being removed. You guys can't mess with Leanne. And then um, don't forget to tell me, to me to tell you about our party this week for this Detroit Lions game. Okay. All right, so in my bowl, I'm gonna back you guys up a little bit. Back up, back up. There we go, I want you to see what I'm doing. So we're gonna be making David's birthday cookie today together. Um, we're gonna make the cookie, we're gonna get the icing, let it cool. Hello, everybody. We're gonna let it cool and then we're gonna decorate it together. Um, I have a couple, t hold on a second. I had to preheat the oven. That actually wasn't you? Oh, so I have two ladies on point. They beat you, Leanne. Usually Leanne, like she's my moderator for all of my platforms and she is money. She is on the spot money. Oh, I love Daytona Beach. When I was in high school, I actually grew up in Florida, in Donnellan, Florida, and we would always go to Daytona Beach for our spring breaks, just for the weekend. It was like two hours away from where we lived and we'd always go to Daytona, so fun. Um, so remind me about the game too. So anyway, inside my bowl I have, oh, and I have tips that I'm gonna try out for you guys to help me and there's my other sweets, Sandy, my other sweets. Okay, so back to the cookies. And I know I'm early and I'm so sorry, you guys, but I didn't wanna wait till two because I have to go down and organize my pantry. It's a disaster down there. And I wanna show you guys the pantry that I have been busy organizing and building shelves, but I can't do that until it looks nice. Ah, um, oh, thank you. I know, wasn't that so sweet? So we did our very first, um, wedding dress day shopping. Thursday is going to be our second. She has picked out two that she loves. Um, I didn't want to show you guys the dresses that were a possibility. I wanted to show you some of them that were a little different because she let each of us pick out a dress for her to try on. And I definitely don't want to spoil it. And I don't, you know, so I'm, I'm not even, so you guys are the only ones going to see it. I'm not even putting that on my Facebook, my Instagram or TikTok. Like they're not going to see any of it. They're going to see the vlog and then us coming in, but they're not gonna see any of it. So you have to be on YouTube to see the couple of dresses that she did try on. But me, her, and Izzy are actually going on Thursday. And so I was actually gonna call and see if maybe they had time for Izzy to try on some dresses. So I thought that'd be kind of a cute video. Um, have Izzy try on different bridesmaid dresses and you guys can kind of see what you think. Maybe you can kind of pick what you think and um, kind of give us like a little thought, like this was nice, this was nice, because we're gonna be putting different style dresses together with different colors but I believe the same material is, it was kind of chaotic on Saturday. So I'm kind of glad it's like just the three of us now because we can just kind of sit, compose and like think because we were all so excited. Like I was excited, all her bridesmaids were excited. So she got so many opinions. And like I said in the last video, she was just so sweet and so patient with us. So patient. Okay, we're gonna get going on these cookies because I have a lot to tell you guys and I want to finish the cookie with you guys. But I can't be on here all day because I have goals. Yesterday I had goals too. And I end up being on Facebook for two hours because I was going to get those cookies right. I did not care. So yes, this is my um, KitchenAid mixer. When we get done making this stuff, I will show you guys. Yeah, if you're on my Facebook live, I think I showed off my mixer to you guys. And so what's great about these cooking lives that we're gonna be doing now, I'm not videoing this for other platforms. So. I don't have a camera over here videoing my cookies. Just you guys are gonna see it because I thought, you know what? The people on YouTube and Facebook are very invested in our family and so I want it to be a different page. Like, yeah, you'll see the same shorts, but I want it to be different. I want you guys to see things that I'm not sharing everywhere else. Because I mean, why would you want to watch it if it's the same everywhere, you know what I'm saying? So I'll be doing different recipes on Facebook, um, on live, and I'll be doing recipes here on live that are different. So I am gonna change it up. So if I'm making this cookie, this big cookie, you're not gonna see me decorate a cookie for David on that one. So just to give you a heads up, I'm trying to um, be have a variety of stuff on my pages so you guys don't get so bored with our family. And I do have a series of cooking coming up. Um, so uh, that will be starting maybe this week, possibly next week. I know I had given you guys some hints on, on changes we're gonna do on our page just to kind of bring a little different things to our page, but it is gonna involve cooking. And I have literally three more days to turn on my cookbook. So please pray that I get it done. I have a couple things. I kind of have like a, 
I'm to know a story, but I have like a block and I can't, nothing's coming out. So I've been praying God would give me the words to say, to talk about Noah's, um, his little story with the soup. So I just started doing the soups, um, editing them that my niece did. And I haven't got to a story yet because I, it's just not there. So anyway, okay. So we have the two thirds cup of shortening and butter. We're going to add the one cup of sugar. Now I am doubling this. So it is more than what it looks like. It is more than what it, the ingredients is. And then one cup of packed brown sugar. And so we're going to cream it again. And you want it nice and fluffy. Yeah, we've had a lot going on. Um, we have a lot of fun trips planned. Uh, I got our spring break done. Um, I got Izzy's senior trip done. That's going to be a lot of fun. And then um, we are actually, well, I'll tell you guys in a second here. I got a couple chunky. So we surprised Joshua and um, me, him, and my husband are going down to the National Ag Expo. And I, now I know where it's at. I, I know I've been saying maybe here, maybe here, but it is actually in Kentucky. And so we surprised Josh. I got a big chunk of sugar here. Hold on a second. There we go. A little bit of moisture got into one of my Tupperwares. And so we surprised Josh when he came home from work. And I'm like, hey buddy, you're gonna need, you know, uh, like three days off because we're taking you to an ag show. And he's like, what's an ag show? At well, first he said, what's an egg show? And I said, not egg show, an ag show. He's like, what's that? I said, it's an agriculture show. And he's like, what's that? And then my husband's like, it's where there's tractors and then there's like things to, to go on the farm and you can like see tractor poles. So I got our tickets last night for the tractor poles. And holy cow, are we late? We had to sit way, way up high. I mean, that place is almost sold out. So he's super excited. He keeps reminding me to like, hey, mom, we got, okay, so now it's two eggs that we got that he's good. And I keep telling him because we, we let them know that he's going to, that he needs that time off. But I told him yesterday because we picked him up from work and me, him and dad had dinner. And then we went shopping for David. But I said, you know, you have to, um, you know, you have to write a note and you have to take it into them because I'm trying to make Joshie more independent. And I want him to have some responsibilities and I want him to realize that he has, what does my dog have? I don't know what my dog's find. But anyway, I want him to have some more responsibilities. And so I said, well, you're gonna have to write a note and you have to let them know that you have to get that time off. And he's like, but you already told them and they already know. I said, no, honey, I realize that, but you have to write a note because they have to put it like in your folder. They have to make sure that it's like on record, you know what I'm saying? And so he's like, oh, okay. So I told him I'd help him write his note. Okay, so we're gonna set that aside. And then um, normally I add, um, uh, two, I'd add two packets of vanilla pudding because I'm making a dull batch, but I didn't add it because I want the cookie a little more firm because it's going to be like a cookie cake and my cookies are so moist that they, they just, they fall apart so easily when you eat them. Now, I mean, they, they don't crumble, but they just are just perfect cookies. And so I'm not going to add the pudding because the pudding makes them even more soft. And so I want it to hold up a little better, but normally when I make my cookies, I would add that. So it's three cups of flour, but I double it. So don't be like, oh my gosh, that doesn't look like three cups. Three cups of flour, a teaspoon of salt, and then a teaspoon of baking soda. I have my little station over here so I don't have to keep running everywhere. And then you're just gonna whisk it together. So when I used to bake, um, I never whisked like I just added my flour and stuff to my batter. And as I started to learn a little bit more about cooking and baking, I realized that I had to um, mix the dry ingredients. And if you mix the salt and baking soda through it, it actually like makes the cookies nicer. So I didn't used to do this step before. I would skip it because I'm like, why do I gotta do that? I'll just put the flour on, I'll have the salt and the stuff in, and it'll just mix in. Well, there's a reason for it. So make sure you whisk in your salt and your baking soda. All right. Okay. And I do have stories to tell you guys, so don't forget to remind me once we get these cookies in the pan and cooking, I'm gonna start telling you some stories because we have a little bit of time because the cookies are gonna take about probably 10 minutes. I'm gonna take them outside and let them cool fast. I'll probably take them on the, put them on my hot tub right there. Okay. 
Yesterday, my kitchen was an absolute mess. I actually showed everybody. I'm looking at it because, you know, you guys see me right here, but like you don't see everything around. And so when I was on Facebook, I'm like, you know what? I'm going to show you guys what's going on in my kitchen. I had stuff. I had cookies all over the place. I had dishes everywhere. I'm like, this is what it looks in the back, like in the background. I had attempted to make peanut butter cookies and they were absolutely crumbled, like crumbled. So I made them into bars and they actually turned out pretty good. Seems Amy's on here, I'll show you guys, cause she was one of them on here. And they actually turned out pretty good. So I put the, um, I put the chocolate on top of them and look, they did good. I actually tried them last night. Super yummy. There we go. Um, so when I, um, I put the chocolate chip recipe on, so I added half the batter. I put the chocolate chip recipe on my Facebook page and I also put the peanut butter bar slash cookies with the chocolate that you can add to the top. And I did, I did adjust it. So I took out a little bit of the flour. I um, added an extra egg yolk because they were a little dry. So when you guys see that recipe on my Facebook page, I did adjust the ingredients. And then I've already, I don't know if you can look now, but I've already added um, the recipe for my cookies. I guess before you go live, you can actually like put, put the description of what you're doing. I didn't know you could do that. I guess you'll learn, hey? Yeah, so they're peanut butter cookie bars uh, because we had to turn them into that because my cookies were like crumbled. Somebody's like, those look really dry. And I'm like, ah. Well, what happened was um, we have so many jumbos right now that we are using them because we, we don't sell jumbos. And so I added a jumbo, making it two eggs. Well, a jumbo, so a large egg, is two um, ounces. And so we have to weigh our eggs. And so a, a medium egg is 1.75 ounces. A large egg is two ounces. And a jumbo egg is about 2.5. So when I added the jumbo egg, it was super huge with two yolks. But what I should have done is I should have just added another egg to it because you go by ounces. And so I needed four ounces and that was only two and a half. Um, and if you have a little bit more egg in your cookies is really not a big deal and so I did make that adjustment I thought about making a cheesecake with you guys today but maybe we'll do that next week my old-fashioned cheesecake oh it's so good all right this looks beautiful all right. I'm gonna tell you guys about my mixer too all right there we go okay so I am praying that this double will work in both pans because I want it thin. Okay, so this is two cups of semi-sweet chips. And then I also had a little bit of those marshmallow uh, chips. Ooh, they're so good. All right, so now we're just gonna fold it in. Yes, I'm using my hands. I mean, I could use a spoon, but it's too hard. How much will they cost? How much will what cost? So I tell you what, um, I don't know, she got her mixer from for Christmas. I did, so I got my mixer from Christmas, for Christmas. They got it at Walmart or Kohl's, just a regular store. I actually had one before that, and because I'm a serious baker, it didn't last, and so my husband got me this one, and I'm gonna show it to you guys. I don't know, it's gonna be close. I, I put a little bit of oil in the pans because I want the one to flip out on top. All right, we're gonna come over so I can wash my hands. Okay, there we go. Um, so the mixer I got was for Christmas from my husband because my other one was like done. And it, I feel like it's a power tool because it has a battery. So you literally charge the battery and then you put the battery onto the mixer. And I actually charged it yesterday. I used it quite a bit, like over two hours. And I look today and it's still, if there's like four little dots and there's still three there. So that's how wonderful it is. Okay. All right, so now we're gonna press together those pans. What chocolate chip recipe do you use? So I put it into my description already. Um, it's just one that I got from my mother. I actually changed it up a little bit and added some different things to it. Okay, here we go. Let me just move my serving station, my workstation away. And then I'm gonna bring over one of my pans and we're gonna see how this goes. So my goal is to get two in here. 
but the pans are ginormous. So we'll see how this works. Aw, thank you so much. Would I mind if you teleported here? Absolutely not. I love friends. Good morning, everybody. So we are making uh, two large cookie. I'm making a cookie cake for my son, David. And my husband says to me yesterday, he's like, okay, so he's 24. We can't keep doing these birthday parties. And so you know how, <laughs> are you guys like this too? Like your husbands will say things to you and you're like, okay. And you know, like, you know. And so he's like, okay, so, you know, he is 24. And so probably this will be his last year to have a birthday party. And I'm like, okay, honey. <laughs> he knows better than that. I just love my kids so much. And we don't go super overboard with our kids. Who doesn't like their birthdays celebrated? Come on. I mean, when they get married, of course, I will give up the reins and I'll let them start their own traditions. But until they get married, I mean, like if, like if they're 40, I probably would still do it. <laughs> That's just, oh, I think I'm gonna be okay, you guys. I think I'm, cause I mean, I'm almost done with that. And look at, I still have a lot. This, oh, these cookies are just, it's so funny because I was telling everybody, this is like my, my fail proof recipe. Like you'll never go wrong with this. Your cookies will always turn out. And I was seriously humbled yesterday. Cause I was like, ooh. And everybody's like, don't be so hard on yourself. They look beautiful. Yeah, but they're not, they're not the right cookies. And so I just, and I felt like, it's so funny. So if you guys were on my live yesterday on Facebook, when I started doing the second batch, because I was very upset about the first one, I felt like I was in hyperdrive. Amy's still here, right? Amy, was I in hyperdrive? Because I felt like I was watching, I was outside my body watching myself bake. Aren't they, uh, they're amazing. These cookies are amazing. And if you buy my cookbook, you're gonna get the story behind it. I, oh, you guys are gonna love our cookbook. I'm telling you, ugh, it, just how it's coming together is amazing. It, it's so much more than recipes. It's our family, it's our story. We're sharing with you things in our life, memories when the kids were, were little, how I transitioned as a mother, having kids that came in through foster care and how they were very sensitive to foods. And it's just brought back like so many memories. Have you ever been to Sault Ste. Marie, Michigan or the Canada? Because my husband is from Sault Ste. Marie. Aw, Grayson, thank you. Yeah, my husband's family, they're in the Sioux. That's where he, he came from. Thank you so much for joining our Bell family. Okay, but Sandy, I don't know if Amy's still on here. Sandy, did I look like I was in hyper, hyperdrive? Your son will probably be very happy. <laughs> oh, yes, he will. Yeah, the, the, the cookbook is just, I'm so proud, you guys. I'm just so, it's been, we've been working on this for, gosh, well, I've been working on it for years, but we have been working on it literally nonstop since um may non-stop like non-stop you guys why do you have shoes on my cabinets i get a lot of people asking me that so the shoes are actually my mother-in-law when my kids th those shoes are like let's see david is um i'm actually gonna put this one in so david will be 24 she made that when my kids were little i'm gonna get one in because i want uh-oh the pan's too big for my oven. Well, we're just gonna have to crack the oven. I guess I should have measured the pans. They're way too big for my oven. Oh well. You know what I'll do is I think I'll put a towel over it. <laughs> uh, yeah. Too big. I've actually had this had this before, so let's do this. <laughs> I want to keep the heat in, right? So I'm tucking a towel. Here we go. Okay. Here we go. The 
The thing is too big for my oven. Pray it still cooks. Um, what was I saying to you guys? I don't remember. Aw. Well, I'll tell you what. Um, when I did start social media, I was a little ridiculous. Um, I was pushing my kids to be on. And I realized, oh, I don't know. I might have not done it right. Ah. Well, I can figure it out. And I was pushing my kids to be on. And I had to get it right with my family. I had to get it right with my followers. That was over a year ago. Um, and so my kids, you know, I ask them if they want to be on before I put them on. We're going to start on this side. I think I can do it. I think it'll be fine. I did make a huge mistake, but I feel like I've gotten it right. You really don't see our, I feel like our page has changed quite a bit. We've been focusing on more lifestyle stuff and, um, more like cooking, you know, like our traditions and stuff. So I think we've done a big shift on our page. I feel like I have, I mean, I don't know, Sandy and oh my Sarah. Hello. I was thinking of you, Sarah, Sarah. I don't know Sarah personally, but she is so sweet and she's so uplifting. And every time I see her name, I always say the same thing. And she's got the sweetest picture ever on her profile. <laughs> I can't take it. But anyway, yeah, I, I don't know, Sandy. I mean, Sandy's been following me since day one. Um, Leanne's been following me since day one. I mean, don't you feel like we've changed a little bit? Ah, oh, you're welcome. I mean, I, I mean, I think that's the part of learning, right? The part of learning is you, you see your mistakes and you get it right and you don't keep making the same mistakes. I'm like, have I been tempted to share stuff? I have. I'm going to make this work, guys. I don't care if it's the thinnest cookie ever. But I, I, I feel like we've done different. I mean, I don't know. Thank you, Leanne. I, I feel like we have too. I feel like our page is different. I feel like that's probably why we're not growing as fast as we used to because we changed our page. We stopped sharing things that really weren't mine to share, I guess. So I really do feel like, I don't know, I think I'm going to do it, you guys. I think I'm going to do it. And it's going to rise too. So even if I make it super thin, it's going to rise. And like if we're doing something, I won't share it till after. So I never go live. Like if we're, um, like for example, David's birthday, I'll share the vlog because we, I'll do like we, and I've always, see, this is the thing too. Like with birthdays, I'm, I've always been a big camera and video person. I just, I just love memories. And so a lot of what I do, I've have always done. And so it's not like I'm just doing it because I'm on YouTube. Oh, it's going to be close. You guys. We can do this. I can do this. And so I, I, I've always like, like watched my kids open their, <laughs> I'm going to squish it till it goes over because I am not making any more cookies. I have other things to do, but I do ask my kids now. So like we got a couple videos we're going to share with you guys. Um, and I pay my kids. I pay them because I know that they need a little help too. And so I don't mind. They're part of our family. If I get paid, they get paid. It's just how it works. And I actually do give them the money. I don't say like, well, I buy them groceries. Well, I take them on vacations. I actually do like pay my kids. We're gonna do this. We are. <clears throat> oh, I was gonna take some from the other one. I got it, I got it. We're just gonna make this, this, this will be the top anyway because I am gonna fill it with icing. Look at how close you guys are like, we got this, we got this. Hello everybody. So we are trying, the oh the shoes, yeah. So anyway, when my kids were younger, my mother-in-law used to be the church secretary and she had made all her grandkids shoes and the shoes are Bible verses telling my kids where to take their feet, who to go to when they need help and what to stay away from. So it basically is, you guys are like, Heather, she can do this. It basically is just a guide for life on what God says to do and what God says not to do. And um, I actually was, this summer, I went through all of my memorabilia of my kids when they were little. Um, I save everything. So I have, like literally, I have every sport they've been in, I've kept their rosters. Um, if they were in music, I kept all of that stuff. So I have so much stuff for my kids when they were little. I kept all their pictures they made me. We got this, look at, we got this. We are so close. And so I redid that and then those, 
shoes came up and I thought, oh my goodness, I haven't had these shoes on the wall for like 12 years. And it's so funny because when I did it, the kids were coming in, they're like, oh my goodness, I remember those shoes. So it's pretty cool. Look how close we are. The ends seem to be a little bigger, so. We got this. So that's with the shoe story. And then I'm gonna share with you guys. So the Detroit Lions, unbelievably, have made it to the final four. Do I know if they're gonna keep going? I don't know. This is the thing, I'm a KC girl. I love my KC team, but KC's gone to the Super Bowl over and over and over. I feel like it's time for somebody else to go. So I will be voting for the Detroit Lions. I do love KC. I am a little irritated with them because, I don't know, I feel like they, they weren't in the game this year because of all the highlights of, you know. So, and all the bandwagons now on KC kind of irritates me because I've been a KC fan for like 20 years when I started getting into football with my husband. So, that's my team, that's my team. Okay, it's, it's, we're so close. Um, but I am gonna vote for the Lions just because they, they are my second team and I gotta be true to it. We did it, you guys, we did it. Well, I did it, you guys watched. And so anyway, my husband, literally, I usually, I'm not used to Detroit winning. And so last year I did my big, I did my big like um, thing for Casey's Super Bowl. And so the fact that Detroit Lions have gotten this far is absolutely amazing. So my husband's like, so what are you doing? So what are you doing this week? And I'm like, I'll do appetizers. Okay, and so then they win again. Oh yeah, it's fine. And then, oh, it's even worse. I'll try the bottom. Okay. So the heat is literally coming out of my stove. Oh, okay, so anyway, he's like, so what are you gonna do now? What are you gonna do now? I'm like, what do you mean? He's like, are you gonna make appetizers again? I'm like, I have done it like two weeks in a row. I'm sick of making appetizers. Okay, well, let's do something else. So then I did big, big beef burritos, which turned out absolutely amazing. You guys, I'm gonna show you what my oven looks like right now. Those pans are so big that I'm kind of thinking I have to move up the pans to the top grids because they are opening my stove too much. Mama's gotta do what a mama's gotta do. There, that's better. We're just gonna have to watch them because they're both at the top. All right, now we're gonna make our icing. So anyway, um, oh, my, my sweet Nikki's on here. Okay, we're gonna make the icing now. So anyway, I had the big beef burritos and, um, oh, I need my vanilla too. Hold on a second, I gotta get my vanilla. I made the big beef burritos. Well, they won again. They won again. And so he's like, so what are you doing this week? He's like, make appetizers. I said, I'm not making appetizers again. I made appetizers twice and big beef burritos. So I think what I'm gonna do is burgers. I'm gonna do a huge burger bar. So that's what we're doing is a huge burger bar. Okay, so I have some icing on these. I don't know if these are gonna work on this. So I have to show you guys my mixer here. I'm gonna see if these will transfer over. Oh. Mm -mm. Baby. Oh yeah, sweet. Um, so here's my mixer. We have time to talk about some stuff. So you charge the battery like you would normally do like a, a power tool. So you, yeah, keep liking. Like, like, like. So you charge it 
like a regular old tool. I think a piece of dough just went in there. Okay. Charge it and then it sticks onto the bottom of this, like this, just like a power tool. And then I got my first cordless mixer last year from my son, Noah. And I didn't use it forever. And I'm thinking, why aren't you using your Christmas present? I started using it and I was like, that one actually charged in the bot and like there was a hole here and you charge it. But this thing, it's literally a battery like you're drilling in a wall. So I feel very tough. I feel very like farmy. I feel like I'm like a worker when I have this. And it's kind of, it is a little heavy, but I like it. And um, so yeah, love it. Okay. So now we are gonna do the powdered sugar, the um, my buttercream icing. This buttercream icing is amazing. So it is uh, six tablespoons of softened butter, two cups of powdered sugar, and then I think I do a teaspoon of vanilla. So what I'm gonna do though, is instead of the vanilla, I'm gonna do banana extract. So a lot of you guys don't know, but I make cupcakes from scratch. I used to sell cupcakes at our local farmer's market. I also made macarons not macaroons a macaroon is a coconut cookie macarons are those cookies where that has two little wafers and the cream inside i'm trying to figure out my oven with my macaron when i figure that out i'm going to make them live with you guys so i have i found these online they are by um uh racked racto racto and so they have a ton of different flavors you should see mine i have like 50 of them this is banana i thought banana chocolate chip cookie would be yummy. So we're gonna be using banana extract with that. I also have several tips. I'm gonna make some of the icing blue, keep some of them white. So, um, and then if you need to add a little cream, you can, but we're gonna start with the butter first and then I'll figure it out. So I'm gonna be making, I wanna decorate like the sides and stuff too. Um, that pan, the cookies are actually perfect on it. So I'm not really sure, we'll see. I, I haven't figured it out yet. I'm just praying that that one cookie will come off. So it looks nice. I, I don't know. It, it's huge. I didn't realize it was going to be so huge. So I greased the pan a little bit, praying that when it flips, it'll come out. So um, are you guys talking to me because day? Oh, for my thing. So we just did the big beef burritos. So I think I'm going to do a burger bar. We've done wings before, and it's just a lot of work to cook them and set them out without them getting cold fast. And we've ordered wings, but they're so expensive. You can't afford them. They're so expensive, especially when there's 10 people plus four that come all the time to watch the game with us. Okay, so I'm gonna double up mine. So this, it's six tablespoons. This is eight, eight times three is, six times three is 18. Eight and eight is 16, okay. So I'm actually gonna double the recipe because I'm not gonna completely cover the cake. I'm just going to, well, I guess I need the insides, right? So we're gonna triple it. So eight times three, six times three is 18. Eight times three is 24. Six times four is 24. I'm gonna quadruple it. All right, so we're gonna quadruple it. So I'm gonna put, I'm gonna quadruple it. So that means I have two, four, six. I need eight uh, cups of powdered sugar. But the first thing you're gonna do is first cream your butter. The big beef burritos were awesome. So I actually did ground beef and then the night before I had my son David two days late, well, a couple of days before, take a couple of beef roasts out for me. And I actually um, went and got my crock pot out and I did some brisket so they could add brisket to the burritos. Ooh, that was cool. Sorry, it's so loud. Can you guys see what I'm doing? Yeah. So I actually made, um, brisket and then I made where is my towels oh huh. I got itchy my towel is covering the stove okay so now I got my 24 ounces of or 24 tablespoons of butter and so it'll it's going to call then now for eight cups of powdered sugar so that's two three Talk to you guys or I'll lose count. Okay. 
So we got the eight. We'll see how this goes. If I have to add more, I will. But I still have to add my extract and my cream, so we'll see. So I am making, um, I don't know who Uncle Roger is. <laughs> Who's Uncle Roger? Am I missing something? So um, I'm making a cookie cake, a double stuffed cookie cake. All right, you got to stop with the Uncle Roger. We're going to have to like mute you. Thank you. <laughs> so we're going to just mix this and I'll add the liquid after. Um, well, I don't know your name. Hello, everybody. Uncle Roger is in timeout. <laughs> Sarah, oh my goodness. I got to do like a, a Zoom with my moderators just so we can kind of get to know each other a little bit. Wouldn't that be fun? I already met three wonderful ladies through my TikTok. I don't talk to them near enough, but my life is calming down and I got to just make time for it. Um, so I'm going to do two layers. Yeah, wouldn't that be so fun? How do we figure that out? I'll have to figure that out. I would love that. I can't even get with... I know a shout out, but I don't know your name. You're going to be muted if you don't stop it. <laughs> you guys are in overtime today. So the cookies aren't going to take very long. I wanted to get them in right away because I want them to cool. Because I want to decorate the cookies with you guys. And so today we're supposed to have 30 degree weather and it's been supposed to get almost to 40. So it sounds like we're having another warm up. I can't hardly believe it. You know, we have, I'm going slow with this because I don't want the powdered sugar to be all over me. But if I had a bigger bowl, man, I'd be rocking this icing already. Um, so we normally, we have a huge ice rink. It's a basketball court in the summer, but then in the winter it is an ice rink. And because we didn't get any snow or cold until January, we were like, okay, we got the plastic. It's sitting in my entryway, this huge thing of plastic. Well, now it's gonna be 30. And so we can't do the ice rink because it's 30. And then we got so much snow that it kind of insulated the um, basketball court. So uh, yeah. So I don't think we're gonna have a hockey rink this year, which is very sad because we look forward to it. Lexington, Kentucky, I'm on my way to Kentucky. Hello, Jordan, how are you? Um, so I am mixing this, well, I don't know how long has it been, four or five minutes. Normally, if you put it in a bigger bowl, you could have this mixed by now, but my bowl's a little small. I don't know what I was thinking when I did it, but see how it's starting to kind of come together now? I'm a little rough on my, we gotta check those cookies. <laughs> it's gonna be like a two hour live. You ain't got much to do, right guys? I do, but that's okay. This is important. And you know what too, is I have to do it anyway. So I might as well, come on. Okay, let's check our cookies. Bring you guys over here. so beautiful. I'll give you guys a peek. Beautiful. You know, it's probably good that the top one doesn't have as much um, batter because it's rising pretty good. And so I'm going to use that as the bottom. Okay. Whew, I'm so hot. Okay. So I'm really, really hot because the stove's open. And, uh, <laughs> And I'm 50, that doesn't help. Okay, so we have the icing, now we're gonna add our flavoring. And I also have blue, we're gonna separate it. Whew. Okay. Hello, sweet cheeks. Yeah. Doing what, just laying there? Just walking. Oh, goodness. oh that's nice. And every time I call it, she knows. So when she came to you, she knew she was naughty? Oh yeah, she lived right now. We already had one dog get hit on the road and so now we're super hypersensitive. And we live out in the middle of nowhere, but for some reason, we have people that just, just I mean, they, and there's a, a our drive is kind of um, 
you can't see it because a little hill and so they just fly down here and our neighbors are great but they like have like trucks and stuff and sometimes they'll but i mean they've never came down here but it's just okay so i'm gonna do three teaspoons of the vanilla actually i think i'll do four I got cookies going, but the cookie pan I got for David's cookie cake is so big that look at the oven's open. I had to put a towel down, and so the hot air is hitting me. So I'm very hot. What? The pans are big, too bigger, too big for my stove. I don't know what kind of pizza. Pizza pans. Can but I the. Open it? Uh, yeah, you gotta you gotta pull up the towel first though, and then take a peek. Oh, oh I see. I'm making him a cookie cake. Aww. Yeah, isn't that cool? Um, so I just clicked my brain that the kids have half days every day. Yes, they do. And we made our appointment before, which is not a good deal. Well, you know what, Izzy said that's good because she'd like to come home. Yeah. We have another appointment on Thursday. She'd like to come home and go in with us. That's what I figured. Plus, she's still studying for her exams, so. Right, we can just get some of them here. Yeah. So I want this really soft because I'm going to be spreading it and decorating with it. So I'm going to do a little bit more. It's a little stiff still for me. So this is just heavy cream. I love heavy cream. I used to use whole milk a lot until I was introduced into heavy cream. Now it's not cheap. I like to get the organic stuff because it doesn't have the carrageen in it and the polysorbate 80. I don't even know what that stuff is. So dad last night, well I'll tell you guys too. So we we're getting decorations for David. And uh, he's like, let's do like uh, My Little Pony for David. Well, there wasn't no My Little Pony. So we couldn't do that. He's like, let's just do Detroit Lions theme. And I'm like, we've been decorating for Detroit Lions for three weeks. That's nothing different for his birthday. Well, that's okay, he loves the Detroit Lions. Yeah, but you're supposed to do something special for their birthday. These decorations, have, well, we keep putting them up, but they've been up. And so I picked them up. Um, we did like a underwater theme. <laughs> so I'll put like more things. I did sharks and like a jungle type shark thing. So that's what we're doing. How are you today? Good. Good. Um, you got any money I can have? Um, yeah. Oh, you mean like to get paid? No, to get stuff for the bar. Oh, yeah, in my purse I do. Why don't you just take the card? Okay. You need what, paper towels? I actually could use some napkins. Yeah. I need a towel, I need some green, and some bags, a broom. Um, you know those cracked eggs or those jumbos, you can start bringing some here, and then if David wants to take some to Amy. Oh, she has chickens. <laughs> All our friends have chickens, and we can't get rid of our jumbos. Yeah. Well, you know what? The girls are coming over Thursday for Bible study. So, and that's good because we'll still have time to go in. Right. Yeah. Right, yeah, yeah. And so I'll just give eggs to all the girls, too. We get these jumbo eggs that they're just so jumbo that they don't even go inside a carton. Okay, and I'll make sure that I, I think when I gave you guys my recipe under the description, I did not give you the recipe for my icing. Um, this is an icing that I just kind of played around with years ago, and it's just a, oh, it's another no-fail recipe. But you have to make sure you cream your butter first. <laughs> Burn it. Um, Haley, can you come try this for me? Because I'm trying to lose weight, and I can't try the icing. Where's Josh? Where's David? Okay, I'll do it. That's super yummy. I can taste the banana, but you know what? I am going to add some vanilla to it. It's super yummy. This icing's amazing, you guys, I'm telling you. Yeah, super yummy see if that stays in I just want to pull a little bit out for the blue and I think I still wanted a little bit it's still a little stiff for me it's super yummy though holy cow when things hit it's like yes when things don't hit it's like Ugh. all right so I'm gonna add a little bit of cream so I did three sticks of butter eight cups of powder sugar perfect I did four teaspoons of banana extract, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, and I did probably, I'm, I'm probably to eight tablespoons because normally it'd be like two tablespoons per batch, which makes sense. 
I mean, just depending on what you want to do with it, but I want to make sure I can get it into a piping bag. I gotta go check my cookie. Okay, and whenever you start smelling your cookies, that's a good tip that your cookies are probably done. Pull up the old towel. I need to get one of those things that turn when I go. That one is almost done. That one is done. It is a little soft in the center, but that's okay because you want it soft in the center. Because it's still cooking, right? It's still cooking. Look at that. Isn't that crazy? I'm glad that I'm glad, glad that David's with Dad because um, then I can get his stuff done and you won't see it. It'll be a surprise. I just haven't gotten his stuff yet in the mail. And I'm a little irritated with that. Okay, that looks great, you guys. Isn't that beautiful? My goodness. See how the edges are, they're a little too brown for me, but it's gonna be fine. So I think what I'm gonna do is I think I'm actually gonna keep it in this pan and uh, put the other one on top of it. It could be a disaster, I don't know. You know what I could do is I also could do, <coughs> I also could cut shapes like footballs and stuff out of the other one and then put them on top of the cake. But you know what though, what I'll do is I'll let it completely cool and the other one and if it starts to come out of the pan a little bit because I did grease a little bit, then I'll just flip it. I'll ice it and then flip it. So we'll see. Okay, so we got the other one going. Let's get back to our icing here. <clears throat> All right. I feel like it's I don't know I feel like it I don't know this is pretty soft I think it's pretty spreadable too. Okay, we're gonna keep it. There we go. Okay, we're gonna take some out and we're gonna add a little blue to it. And then in a, just a second here, I'm actually going to um, put this cookie outside and then um, I'm gonna put some tips on and show you guys some tips on um, how to fill your bags up. I'm gonna show you some different tips and I'm gonna have you tell me like what you think because these have to be completely cool. If they're not completely cool, then all the icing is just gonna melt. So let's actually do that right now. Let's just do that right now. I feel like we we need to. I'm gonna uh, bring you guys over here because I want you guys to be part of the whole process. And yes, my screen is broke. Why is my screen broke? Because I have dogs. There we go. Okay, now back to our, our icing. <laughs> yeah, so my dogs decided that they were gonna make their own door into my house. And that meant going through the screen. All right, there we go. We just gotta make sure we watch them. Okay, perfect. Um, so the other cookie is probably, I'm just going to check it again, you guys. I feel like it's super close. And I really want to get these dry because, or cool, because I want you guys to see me decorate them. We're actually doing really good for time. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's see. Oh, yeah. 
Beautiful. Okay, I'll shut this off. So the top looks not done, but when I put the knife into it, it was like crumbly, or um, it looked like it was done inside. Okay, so we're gonna go take this one too. This one ain't as heavy. I think I can do a one-hander. Okay, let's go. I think I can do a one-hander. Bring you guys over. Be like, don't go so fast, you're making me sick. See if they're gonna try and oh, sneaky dogs. I can just see them jumping up on my thing and like getting my cookie. That would really stink. I definitely would have to go off live and finish it. Okay, so we are going to, and I'm gonna cover these two because I don't want the icing to get all hard. So I just want a little bit of blue. Um, I'm basically going to be doing, you know, I should do blue and green. I have a teal. I'm a little like. <laughs> okay, I think I'll do both. So I'll do the majority of it white and then I'll do blue. I'm gonna do a little bit of teal. If I have to make more, I have everything out. It's not a big deal. Okay. I don't want a lot of teal, just a little accent. Because I want to make sure I use it all because then it's a waste. I love these teaspoons. Okay. So we're going to do teal here. My back is sweating. I'm so hot from the... Oh. All right. Just use your spoon. Use the edge of it. I don't like to use the liquid stuff. I like to use the paste. Yeah. So then I'll have like two kinds of blues. Oh, that's beautiful. It looks like water, hey? It looks like water. Making sure no animals are on my cookies. I open the door and I put those cookies on the grill and Maggie's comes out, Haley. And she's like this, can you see me through the window? Look through the window. Look right here to the slider. Look into the kitchen through the slider. Look right here, look at me right here. Woo -hoo. No, you can see me at the desk. She's like this, she's like this. <laughs> she knows it. All right, that looks good. Okay. Okay, so we got one done. Beautiful. And now we're gonna do blue, blue. Blue, blue, blue. I still have quite a bit of white in there, so that'll, that'll be fine. That one is done. She just wants a cookie, that's right. <laughs> She's like, please. So just use the back of your spoon. You don't need a wooden stick. You don't gotta go buy sticks to put icing in it if you're using paste. Okay, and then you just mix it with your spoon. My teaspoon went better because it was longer. I love my teaspoons. I use them for everything. That's pretty. This will be a nice, this will go with the whole like jungle slash water theme. Okay. Everything in your kitchen is a, is a cooking tool. 
You can find some. Oh, this smells so much like bananas. Oh my goodness, I love it. Hopefully he likes bananas. Never really asked, I guess. Okay, that looks good too. Okay, so we're gonna try out some different tips. Oh, here comes Josh. <sighs> Warn him we're on live, so he's a nice boy. <laughs> he be a little sneaker. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna put the lid on this while our cookies are cooling. And then I'm gonna show you guys. Let me just, I'm just gonna clean up my area for a second. Hi, sweet cheeks. I'm talking to people on live. Say hi to everybody. I put that in the uh, shop door. Oh, nice. I put that in with the doors all over. You want to say shop. hi? How is it? I don't know how my hours is going yet. Okay, you can get a time card downstairs. Okay. Okay. All right. Oh, can I do that? No, you can't. You got to go wash your hands. Wash your hands. Mom. Wash your hands. They're like, hello, Josh. I get lots of hugs. All right, so we're gonna try out a, get a couple different tips. I'm gonna do white. So they make these like little icing things. Just gonna put it in here. And then I got like different tips. So I have this one. So there's two tips there I have. What, sweetie, in my drawer. And then this one is gonna be to write his name. Like David, write his name David. And then this one is just like another one I thought maybe with my decorations I put little dots. But I'm going to show you guys some different tips. Oh, and I grabbed this one too. So we'll see what they look like. We'll just, we'll just try it out. Maybe we'll try it out on this. And I'll bring you guys a little closer. All right, here we go. Okay. Double checking my cookies. Yes, honey. You got a serious question for me. What is it? Uh, is this too serious that I can't be live? Uh, kind of, no. Kind of no. Uh, can you rent an Indo of uh, can I can in? Like, oh. Robert and Brennan does. Robert, they went to the I wanna go until you I You know, honey, they have, um, they have the Scandia rink. You could go do, skate at that one. No, I wanna Indo. Okay, are you helping Haley? If you are, you need to get going there, yeah. sweet cheeks. She's gotta go by herself. Well, she needs help. She needs. She has a lot of eggs to deliver. She needs help. I'm gonna cover this. Well, that would be very nice if you do. Okay, so we're gonna try out different ones here, and then you guys can kind of tell me what you think. So to make it easier to put your icing, you put your icing into a cup, and then it's already. See that? And then. You go like this. No, you are your hands aren't washed. You cannot touch nothing. Go on, you just came from the chicken barn. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I <laughs> know you did. Hands. So then you just stick it in here. It just ice. makes it a lot more easier to ice. <clears throat> oh, Mom. Joshua. No more question. No so more questions. My iPod? I told you I don't know what to do there. Then can you buy a new iPod for me and put music on it if you can't figure it out? Write your birthday list up. Go get your Hands wash, please. Can, can, you can't be by stuff, because what if stuff flies in here? We don't need chicken feathers in our icing. <laughs> Put an iPod on your list of things that you want. Your birthday's coming up next. Charge. Sweet cheeks, could you it please focus? Go wash your hands. Get changed so you can go deliver eggs. Focus, child, focus. Okay. Oh my goodness, child. Okay. okay, it is still a little stiff. Okay, 
So here, I'm gonna bring you guys here so you can see kinda, I'm gonna go drop it down a little bit. Okay, so this is this one here. And so you can do two things, like you can do a, a star. Oh, it's thick. Ah, that's actually really pretty, look at that. Or you can do like an edge, so let's see here. I don't think I like that. This icing might be a little too thick. Let's change the top. I really need to practice with this, like just make some icing and then just practice. Yeah, it's gonna be too hard to pipe, I think. Ooh, that's really pretty. Yeah, it's not, uh, but I do like this a lot. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to add more cream to it. All right, so now let's try, I'm gonna try this tip. So I really like this, that. That's not bad. Okay. Okay, so I do like this one right here. Can you see that one? Um, I actually think I like it the best. And then that's not bad right there, but I think my icing is a little thick. I also have this one, but that's more like for leaves, I think. Oh, okay. We're gonna try this one right here, see that? My husband is bringing me to the farm show to see if I can meet you. Aw, you must live close. Do you live close? Trust the process. All right, so here we go. Congratulations, Jonathan. All right, so let's try this one. Oh, it's like a spider. That is actually super cool. No, that wouldn't be a... That's actually really cool. Look at that one, you guys. Isn't that super cool? Good night. All right, let me see. I actually really do like this one. I'm at, so, so far I like um, this tip right here. You guys can see that? That tip. And then I also like this tip right here. So I'm gonna put those aside. Um, this one isn't bad, but it just looks kind of messy to me. So I think I'm going to do this one and then So I was thinking maybe this might be fun for like the edge. So this must be made for roses, right? Alright. Okay, what I miss? 
Aw, thank you, Sarah. Okay, so this one might be good for the edge. So I think I picked out the three. So I'm going to do, um, I'm going to do this one here. I really think this is kind of cool, kind of spidery looking. And then this is that one, I think, for the edges. Okay. You wash your hands there, yeah, there, sweet cheeks. And then this one is gonna be for David's. Um, I'm actually gonna get a bigger one, a bigger hole than this, because I'm gonna make his name in it. Happy birthday, David. I have way more. These are for like my big, huge. Um, I did not see a Red Wings cup. I think I'm gonna do this one instead. That's a big difference. I, I'm I'm just telling you that I have not seen it, hun. Okay, cool. Check your cookies. Okay, cool. Okay, I think I come up with the tips I want. And then I will will put the icing into the other ones too now. So we'll get the blues in here. I'm gonna put that white back in there. Yeah, I used to do cupcakes and macarons. I made a lot of stuff. Okay, here we go. Okay, so let's scrape this back in because we definitely don't wanna waste the icing. I mean, I don't know, maybe I won't do a border. Maybe I'll just do the whole, like, just all the way around. Okay. Listening to my uh, 70s music. All right, I know it's a mess, but it's gonna have to be a mess. What, honey? All right. Okay. We're gonna put the blue in. <laughs> Thank you so much. So it's really important like when you're cooking and stuff, it's just, like really important to be organized and it's really important to have everything ready. So before I even went on live today with you guys, I actually had all my ingredients measured out. I had it next to me and I was a little unorganized in, at on our Facebook because I didn't realize that I was going to, um, I didn't realize that uh, I was gonna have to make another batch, but I felt like I was super fast with it because I don't wanna be like turning around and you know, I wanna, I write everything down in my yellow notebook so you guys can kind of, you know, you're not gonna want to sit me, you know, see me like looking at my notebook like, Three, is that three, three cups? Where is this? Like, I want to be organized. I want you guys to, I want to use your time wisely. How about that? Use your time wisely. I don't want you to sit here watching me walk, run around the kitchen like a chicken without my head on. So the green, the blues and the greens are going to just be for highlights. I'm going to do basically the white. And it's, this is beautiful. So it's gonna be basically the white, but um. <laughs> okay. That's two hours long, two hours and regular hours. Okay. Yep, and then you get to count you delivering too, you know. So you figure out when you leave. Let's say you guys live, leave at noon, you don't get back till three. That's all working. And then regular hours too. Okay. Are you still out with it? All right, so now let's do the blue. So you know what? I actually have been thinking about making cupcakes on live because <laughs> that's so funny that comment. Um, I actually was thinking about making like um go cook make baby. I do that a lot, you guys. I'm sure everybody laughs when I do that. Need a cookie? Need a check on the cookies? It's really cold outside, so I, I hope they cool fast because I really want to do this with you guys. And let's, I don't want to do the blue. This actually would be kind of a cool one. I can make dots. Polka dots. Yeah. Blue polka dots. Come on. 
Oh, that one's not working. When I'm like, seriously, like I used to make my, when my kids were little, I actually made all their cakes from scratch. I did a Lego cake. I did um, a Blue's Clues cake, a Clifford cake. I made a Barbie cake. I made, um, David was really into soldiers. So I made a whole cake of like soldiers on like a battlefield. And then he, I made, um, what else have I made? I made a city. David was into superheroes. I literally made a city. I made my cake stand up and I did a city and all of his superheroes were in the city. Let's see what else I've made. I made a, a monster truck a track cake. I made a train. I made a tractor. Um, I tried to make a shoe. The shoe fell apart. Uh, let's see. I've made a heart. I'm actually going to make... So for my kids, I'm trying, so like, I've already gotten their Valentine stuff done. I ordered it a little bit ago. I'm trying to do things like a little different, like more fun for my kids. And so I'm waiting for the stuff to come in. It's actually special ordered. And um, it, I can't even tell you guys, because if they watch this, they'll know. And I also, um, I think I'm, I always make them their cards. So I've been doing this since they were little and I date the back. I always make them a card with their name on it and, and then the different um, characteristics of them and what I'm thankful for and I'm, just how much I love them. I've been doing this since they were babies. I just love making homemade cards. I, I'm from the scrapbooking era. go. Yeah, I'm from the scrapbooking era, so I was one of those that scrapbooked a lot. And um, so I just... I make their cook, I make their, I go and get all the stuff and I'm, I'm going to do, not that one. I'm going to need this. Okay, you guys, we're ready. We are ready, Freddy. A little bit of icing in my nails. Do you want to get some lunch or something before you leave? Make a sandwich, get a cookie. I can give you guys some money if you want to go get lunch. Get my purse, wherever it is. I want to buy it, but like... You, you are yeah. wearing a clothes you wore at the barn. You can't be over by food. You got chicken. Do you, you want to go grab my purse for me and I will give you guys some money? Let's go check those cookies. Aww. Faisal, is it Faisal? Thank you for subscribing to our page. I appreciate it. All right, let's, uh... Ooh. Oh, this one's cold. Okay, so a couple more minutes. I'll tell you guys a story. Um, I'll, I'll explain to you our birthday traditions. Looks like that top one is cooled. The bottom one has maybe about five minutes. So we got all the ice and ready to go. So I'm just gonna tell you guys why we're waiting. Um, I'm going to share with you um, what I've done with my kids since they are little. I wish I had stuff out so I could show you guys. But I will be making a vlog of us getting his birthday together. And then I'll ask him if he minds if we do a little birthday vlog of him. Cause, so this is, this is how our birthday traditions work. Um, even when the kids were little. What are you doing? Did you find my purse? <sighs> ask Kaylee. So when my kids were little... Um, I, me and my husband or me, if he, if he was busy, I go and get all their presents and then I go the day before or two days before, depending on how the week is, get all the decorations. I always do a theme. Um, sometimes they'll pick a theme or sometimes I would just do a theme for them. A lot of people ask me, why do you still do like the kids stuff? Like I did mini, mini mouse for Izzy. I've done Mickey mouse for, for Josh. You know why? Because soon enough, they're going to be super duper adults and they're not going to be able to do that fun stuff. So I don't mind it. I don't think they mind. It's not a big deal. Not a big deal. So I go and get their decorations. And then when that birthday boy or girl goes to bed, which I know you guys have seen the vlog, the little mini vlogs, um, we all start decorating. So I pull out the presents from the basement. Um, we get all the decorations hung. We lay out the cake and everything, the candles. And we decorate so when they come downstairs, they um, come down to a decorated dining room, kitchen, whatever. And so we have a birthday sign 
that I have taped, literally taped and taped and taped and taped and taped and taped, taped, taped together. And when they walk down the stairs, they see the very first thing they see is that birthday sign. And then they come into the kitchen and they'll see happy birthday. We put streamers all over the place. Their cake is here with the candles. We always put their favorite candy spread out on the table. Then they also get their favorite candy as a present. They also get their favorite cereal as a present. And then they, and that's only theirs. Like nobody, they don't have to share it. And then we get their favorite drink. David loves A&W root beer and cream soda. So we got them both. So then they get their favorite drink. We set that out. Um, sometimes we'll put it in the bags or sometimes we'll set it out. And so when they come down, all their presents are there. Um, and then they get to pick lunch. So even when they're in school, we would take them out and they always got to go to lunch for their birthday. And so we check them out for, the, for an hour, take them to lunch and take them back to school. And so that's just kind of a tradition we've always done. They get to pick what's for dinner. And then um, if it's a weekend, or we're not busy, then we'll do breakfast for them too. It just really depends because in the summer, all my guys work and they're out the door by six. And so there's really no time for us to sit together and eat. And um, so we have special birthdays. So when they turn 13, like this is David's golden birthday this year. He's super excited. So when they turn 13, 16, 18, and 21, they get special presents. They get a really, really special big present on their 13th birthday, and then they get a really, really nice special present on their 18th birthday. Um, because those are two big milestones, right? Becoming a teenager and then pretty much becoming an adult, you know, in, in the eyes of, you know, the law or whatever. And so we'll get them one big present and smaller presents. And so normally for presents, um, usually on birthdays, they get a lot of smaller things like, you know, like their favorite cereal would be a present. Their favorite candy is a present. Um, maybe they wanted some socks or they wanted, you know, something small. So usually we get them um, like a nice present, something very nice, and then just kind of regular presents. So that's kind of how we do birthdays. And it's really hard because like right now I have David's birthday. And then in two weeks, we're gonna have Josh's birthday. Four days later is Gideon's birthday. And then four days later is Izzy's birthday. And then we have Mother's Day, my birthday, Brendan's birthday, Noah's birthday right after, Father's Day. We have a little break. Well, not this year because we have a wedding this summer and a graduation in June. So we have two big things. Then we normally have a break for a month and then it starts Luke and then um, then Robert and then the holidays. So it's, it's pretty much we have like one break on months on birthdays. And so I was just like really, really tired and I'm just like, I'm, I told my husband, I said, I, I can't do this anymore. Like I'm really tired having to get make their cakes and get the presents and and i do put gift bags we do gift bags for birthdays i used to do wrap presents i'm just too tired but i have to tell you i have gift bags from when they were like 10. like seriously i keep Mom. everything because you can reuse a gift bag it's not a big deal presents. can you go ask Haley? because i think she had it because she had to get the card for the farm and so um I just was like really, really tired. I told my husband, I said, I'm just so tired. I just, you know, getting up and decorating. I said, I think I'm going to be done. And I remember it was 2011 because the boys came into our home in 2010. We adopted him, Robert, Brendan, and Noah in 2011. And that's when we became a family of eight. Like, so we started having kids in 2000. Well, we didn't have kids. We started adopting our children in 2000. And then by 2010, we literally had eight children but five of them came within two years. So it was like mom of four or mom of three to mom of eight. It was just like this, boom, 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 boom. And so I just remember telling my husband, I just, I'm tired, I just really can't do this. And so I remember I was in the kitchen cooking, and I think I've told you guys this story before, I don't know, but if I haven't, now you get to hear it. And so I remember being in the kitchen cooking and I remember like Robert and David were coming down the stairs and they hadn't been here very long. Um, I don't even know if we had, actually I think it was in 2010 because I don't think we had a birthday yet because they had came in October and his birthday was in November. And so that's when it was. So it was, it was before we adopted him. And so I remember them coming down the stairs and I hear David say, you're gonna love birthdays around here because you know what my mom does? She, when you go to bed, you wake up to presents and you wake up to decorations and a cake and your favorite candy and then you get to go to lunch. And I was just like, and I just was like, how can I like stop that tradition when it really means a lot to them? Like David just gets so excited on his birthday. Even now being almost 24, he just, he is, he's my kid that gets so excited. And so I just was like, like my heart was like, be still my heart. 
But Javu was just so excited. He was telling Robert all the fun things we do in our home and how we celebrate their birthdays and how we celebrate the holidays and, and different meals we make on different days. Because we used to have, when my kids were little, we had a lot of themed nights. We did pizza on Friday. On Saturday, we did breakfast. Um, each of the kids could cook once a week. Like, we really did have themed things that we did. And so when he said that to Robert, and Robert's like, what, really? Because... I don't know. I, I don't know their lives before. I don't know if they had big birthdays. I don't know if they even celebrated birthdays or what they got for their birthdays or were they with their families for their birthdays. I don't know. You know, I haven't asked them because, you know, if, if they feel like they need to talk to me and Luke about it, they know we're here. But we don't pressure our kids to share things that might be hard for them. I know that they've shared it. And that's the thing, too, is like I don't pry my kids. I don't know the whole history of, of my kids that we adopted. I don't. And I don't pry my children into asking about what happened with them. They know that we're here. We told them that we're here. They do have family members in their lives they can talk to and they have each other. And so I just, I mean, if they're trying to heal, I think bringing it up sometimes is not the best. And so we just never pressured our kids. We never like asked them 20 questions like, why are you here? What happened here? Did anything happen? Were you, you know, were you never safe? Like we never just really asked them that just because, I don't know, like I wanted them to be, to trust us and then in their time to share with us. And they've shared some things with us, but I know what's really wonderful is they've shared with each other because they all understand what they went to, you know, they all went through similar things. And so they have each other. And there's a lot of times where I go upstairs and, and I see like Haley, Robert and Brennan just talking. And so I don't stay. I just like, I am not going to cry because we're making a, a birthday cookie. And so I don't want to intrude on that. And so I would just kind of go down and do laundry because they needed each other. And I'm very thankful that God brought them all together because he knew they needed each other. And I know they've shared a lot with each other and they trust each other. They talk to each other about things. They confide in each other. Um, they share wonderful things with each other. And so I'm just really glad that my kids have a relationship with each other. Sometimes they, they do fight and they're normal sisters and brothers, but they do have each other to lean on if they're not comfortable with us. So... There's my little, I give you a little more than just the simple traditions, but um, I'm just very thankful for my kids. And they're just, they're all my heroes. Just, I know they've been through a lot and just to see them smile and to see them get up and not want to follow a path that they were in. It's just, I, I can go on and on. I can go on and on about my kids. That's just how much I love them. I can go on and on. Um, let's see, Josh, she's singing to us. Let me grab our cookies out here. You guys get to see the outside for a second. So this is the smaller one that didn't rise as much. I'm really praying that this one will come out of the pan. <laughs> and you know, too, when you go live, if the cookie ends up being a uh, like a bust, I can't edit it out. It's just a bust. <laughs> okay, here we go. I know you guys are, this is what I'm waiting for. This is what I'm waiting for. All right. Well, you guys are getting a lot of information. I've shared with you lots of stuff. Okay, are we ready? <coughs> okay, it's cold. Like it's not, it's not warm, but it's not like freezing, freezing. Okay, so I'm gonna stick icing in the middle of it. Can you guys see that okay? Um, do you have my purse? Cause I told Josh he could get some money out to go to lunch with you today. Mm -hmm. I don't have it. You do have it? Well, how did you get my farm card out of there? I didn't grab it yet. And then I already took out a bag of the blues, the greens, and the white. So whatever I have left over, and I'll make sure I do David's name first because I don't I want to make sure that I have enough icing for that. I'd like to do that in white. Okay. And so when I get done doing this, um, I think I am going to put it back outside so it stays cold. It's not like super warm yet here. I mean, I guess 30 is not warm. I got like a lot of his stuff for his dinner and um, it's all in the car. My husband's like, do you want me to bring it in? I said, no, cause it's like two degrees. It's, it'll stay nice. I can help you too, Josh, when you get home, if you want, add it all up. Um, oh, you know what? Yes, it is. It's over in the, it's in the living room because I bought our tractor pull tickets.
I was telling my husband, I said, yeah, I was talking about the tractor pool and there's a lot of people going to it and a lot of people that know about it. I said, I didn't realize we had so many farmers following us. <laughs> it's pretty cool. People like us, right? Yeah, take the farm card and then um, there's a zipper. Take some money out of it. Take some money there. It, I don't know if I have small bills, but you can just bring me back change. And then take Josh. Have him pick. You guys can get a burger or something. Wait, what's the? The, the zipper. They are going to deliver eggs. So I wanted a little more icing in here, but... It's for nothing. For lunch. Oh, don't use the card. Yeah, no. Oh, I guess you could use the card. I just thought Josh might like to pay for it. I thought he might like to take you. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Well, we only have lots Get the little less than a lot. So it's going to be basically a double cookie because this... I wonder if I should whip up some more icing, you guys. I think I need to. I think we need more in here because I want it to be like a cookie cookie. So let's do that. Let's whip up some more icing. What, honey? What, honey? It says BSB Farm on it, doesn't it? Oh, it says nothing on it. It's blue. Yes. On down. You're getting on my nerves. I didn't ask how you know that. Because I know everything. She's getting on my nose. This is batter, so I'm I need I don't wanna wash anything right now. So do the kids get off a half day today? Yeah. Oh. Yesterday it was their full day and we have half day session week. Oh, so we're gonna be seeing them here soon. There she goes being loud. You know she does it on purpose. You guys can't hear me. She'll she'll put ice in that cup for a year. You're terrible. Terrible. All I do for her. All I do. I have to get the egg back water. Me too. Me and her on a strict. I was so hungry yesterday. <laughs> I actually had a little piece of cookie, like this big. I had to. Did you have a cookie yesterday? No, I was going to. Good thing. Plus, I think we're going to Vegas. So we got to uh, get in shape for Vegas. For the Cheer Choice Awards. Okay. Okay, we're gonna whip up some. What is that? Is that a dog? Yeah. Did the kids come in? Is that her bark that the kids are coming in? What is going on here? Okay. We're gonna make a little bit more icing here. So I got two sticks of butter, and so I'll have to put in um, two sticks is uh, eight and eight is sixteen, and it's it's six tablespoons of butter to two cups of flour. So I have to put two and a half, four and a half. What, honey? Okay, I will. Thank you. Bye. Love you. Love you. I guess I need four cups of powdered sugar because I really want it to be thicker. How old am I? How old do I look? This is gonna be like three hour live, Heather Bell making cookie. <laughs> so I am making a chocolate chip cookie cake because my kids love, I've made so many cookies this week, holy cow. It's only Tuesday and I've made six batches of cookies plus, uh, well eight, because this is two batches. What, honey? I look 40. Oh, best friends. 
best friends. Best day ever! We say that all the time. Do you say that in your home too, Sarah? We say that all the time. Me and my kids were like, best day ever! Can you please speak in English slowly? Oh, Best day ever. All right. I'm not sure if I'm gonna need more powdered sugar for this. Oh. It. What happened? Oh no. Oh no. Ah. Bye, honey. Down on the corner, out in the street. <laughs> if this is like yesterday, I'm gonna be done. My battery is not charging. Uh oh, so these must have got stuck. This is an intermission. Go get some coffee real fast. Intermission. There we go. My mixers got stuck. Suckers. Hold on a second. use the other ones. This one's keep getting stuck. There we go. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It goes from a thousand people to 200. Sick of watching me fix my mixer. Beaters are mixed up. Darn it. 